Yeah, good day, folks. Uh, coming to you again here uh, from Crooked Run Farm. Yeah, just going to let you see just a few things I've been doing today. Oh, I'd like to say, first of all, I'm glad for Jesus Christ. He made it all possible, the new life that he's given us. And to be born again, just to know that I'm saved, sanctified, set free. Uh, anyway, I'm just glad that Jesus chose me. And he'll choose you if you'll let him to do so today. Uh, just ask him in your heart. It, it ain't about going to church. I heard, uh, uh, what was his name? Um, Billy Graham. Billy Graham said one time in his sermon, uh, you can get you a chair and sit down in your garage. That doesn't make you an automobile. The same way with with uh, going to church, that doesn't make you a Christian. In order to be a Christian, you got to be born again. Jesus told Nicodemus, you must be born again. So anyway, we're glad today for for the born again experience that we have experienced. But um, thank God for each and every one of you tuned in. We ask you again to subscribe and uh, push that bell. And um, we get uh, a few more viewers, a few more subscribers. And we'll see what what the Lord has in store for us. But anyway, uh, this Cattle Master Series Six, it's not the best uh, squeeze shoot I don't think that's out there. But this one's about four years old now, and it's all um, automatic. They call so whenever you get ready to to put a cow or a, uh, we'll just say cattle. Uh, through this you just reach up and pull this handle which opens that back door right there to allow them cattle to get up through the chute uh, your your walkway your your alleyway whatever you want to call it to get in here and then whenever they come in uh, you pull these doors closed just a little bit so whenever their head hits there it comes through the hole and the shoulders hits this and it brings it up over and it's got a spring on that locks it so the cattle gets caught in to the shoot so anyway uh we have guessed estimated so many different times about what a, a cow or a calf or a bull or a steer or anything weighs and uh i got tired of just guessing at things telling people hey i've got some 500 pound calves uh, i'd like to sell or buy something off somebody that's supposedly 700 pound it don't weigh but 550 you pay 700 pound price so this is what i've done i have bought uh, this here thing it's called a scales and weighing solutions um, don't know exactly where it came from but i got it off of ebay for 169 dollars shipping and handling and pretty easy setup what we had to do uh, the directions of course i don't put them up uh but it sets on feet and all i've done this is a temporary fix i'll get me some concrete one of these days it's kind of unlevel right here but anyway you can see back in that hole there uh, for this tartar squeeze chute these things just sit on these legs there's one on each corner from there right on over to underneath there uh, you can see how that is mounted up there, and it just goes through there. My tartar squeeze chute has one hole inside this seat, this uh, this channel back in here. It had one hole in it, so we had to drill another hole because there's two bolts that hold these things together. And of course, you got your adjustment on your on your legs if you want to get it level, which mine's not level. And then you run all your wires from each leg, each foot, on over to a junction box, which I've done stuffed it underneath here. It is waterproof, but I've stuck it underneath here, and all the wires run into this junction box. And then the wire that comes out of the middle, this wire right here, runs up and out and comes to this device right here. So, <clears throat> I've done tried this thing out, I was going to try it as we went, but had a little bit of company a while ago, and um, I forgot to, to start recording. So now, what we're going to do, if you bear with me just a second, let me see if I can uh, 
I got my phone out today. I had my GoPro, but anyway, we're going to connect this meter, this wire, in the back of this box. There's a little, a little um, slot right here. So that little slot goes right there where that thing is, right here. So you get that on there just right. Let me get that back here where you can see. Push that in. Let's slide on my leg. Push that in. And of course it's got a little nut there that tightens it up, tightens it down. And the directions tells you exactly how to do things. Uh how to set up this stuff. So we're gonna set it up here, and I'm a, I'm a little chubby fella. So we'll set that thing right there. And make it a situation. I should have my GoPro on, but I don't. So we'll set it right there. And it's got a charging system comes with it. All you gotta do is plug it in, and it charges up the battery that's on the inside. The directions tell you how to, to calibrate. I used a bag of corn, it's 50 pound. Uh, so anyway, we're gonna turn it on and all this stuff comes up, of course. Uh, indicates where it's from and all that. Then it goes down to zero. So we've zeroed it in already. We'll zero it again. And like I said, I'm a chubby little feller. So we're gonna go inside here and uh, get through this squeeze chute. And without any heaviness on my clothing boots such things like that i'm about 200 pound 198 200 pound uh, bare naked so uh, we're just gonna turn this around and see if it's working and look at there 206 pound that's what i weigh with my boots and my i got a sweatshirt i got a screwdriver i got a phone i got a gopro in my pocket i got my hat on so on and so forth uh, all the poop and stuff that's in here from latter part, uh, uh, the time I, before last that I, I put these cows through here, um, it's already zeroed out. So, anyway, it's pretty easy set up, set up, pretty easy system. So you can sit right there. So let's walk back out, get back out of the chute. <clears throat> I can just barely fit through that thing, and we'll walk over here and see if she zeroed back. Let's turn it around, and right there it is, zero. Back on zero. So I'm excited. There is, let's see, where's it at? There is a calf that I just put through here, a little steer calf. We'll see if we can't zoom in to him. He's up there around that feeder there. He didn't like it too well. That's his mommy, that, uh, that red one right there on the right, so he must be right there on the left. So we put him through there a while ago and he weighed 413 pounds. And then the other cow, right there on the right of her, she's kind of dark brown. I thought, well, if I can catch her, which she went right in there. When she went right in, um, opened up and just went right up through there and she weighed 1,012 pounds. So it's working pretty slick, pretty slick it is. So anyway, that's that's enough for that. So I've got these calves I'm getting ready to sell to a fella down the road, and hopefully we'll get uh, a good fair price out of them. Well, actually, he's done offering me five hundred fifty dollars a piece for them. That ain't very good, but six fifty for the steer, and um, so on and so forth. So until this time, next time we come to you uh praying and hoping for you that you give your life to the lord if you haven't done also already and um keep looking up for your redemption draws nigh and i hope and pray god blesses you in everything that you do if you do it for him